Why do leeches have so many brains? Attaching yourself onto bigger creatures and sucking their blood doesn't sound like a taxing lifestyle, but leeches need 32 brains to cope. They're technically known as ganglia, and they're much simpler than the brains of birds or mammals. Each ganglion controls one of the 32 segments of which the leech is made up. This localized control improves the leech's movement, feeding, and ability to detect prey. It also means if the leech's nervous system is damaged, both ends of the leech's body can keep functioning while the nerves regenerate. Leeches are just one example of how all animals have bodies adapted to their behavior. Animals' active lifestyles mean their nerves and muscles require lots of energy, which is why they eat. And to be able to eat, animals need to inherit a suitable body plan. Take cows which graze. They have organs adapted to this way of life, four substomachs to help them digest their food. Animals' muscles, nerves and bones need to grow to a pre-arranged design much more than, say, branches, twigs and leaves do. This is because plants and animals have different relationships with time and space. Plants can't move, but they can grow into new shapes, unlike animals which stay roughly the same shape once they reach adulthood. Plants seek energy by growing organs such as roots to take in water and minerals, and leaves to absorb the sunshine and carbon dioxide that make up most of their food. To maximize efficiency, many plants grow branches and roots in whatever pattern seems best for their location. A preordained body plan for a tree would be ludicrous. Most animals come with a fixed number of organs though, and their placement is pretty uniform. In many cases, you can say where the organs begin and end well enough that it's possible to cut one out of a person and put it into another. But for organs and all organisms to work, their cells need to be disciplined. They must know their place and must divide only when necessary. You can find out what happens when this discipline doesn't work, as well as much more, in our set of primers on biology. The series will take you on an in-depth scientific journey from molecules to planets and will take your understanding of the universe to a new level. The Economist is here to help.